know, it's like an exercise. We do warm-ups as well. And in the dance warm-ups, it's very specific warm-ups with respect to what body part you're working on and what dance you're performing. Right? So we will work on three types of uh, warm-ups. We would do first the pulse raisers, then the mobilizers, and then the stretchers. So let's do the style specific pulse raisers first. And here I'm going to also talk about the footwork in Kathak because that helps in pulse raising. So as we just discussed, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just need to tap your feet. It's flat, 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 and a heel. And the same feet, flat, 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 and a heel. So that's how we will go with the footwork to raise the pulse. And there are three speeds in it. So we will do all the three speeds together. So let's start with the pulse raisers. So I hope you can see my feet now, right? In the V position where we have the fist difference. And we start with the pulse raisers. Keep your hands in the home position with this mudra where you have your first finger curved and gracefully facing each other. All right, so let's start. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. This was a very slow speed. So we will start with a double speed now. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Same way, we'll do the 4 speed one now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we keep doing these pulse raises for good some 10 minutes in the Kathak dance, which will also help you to revise the steps. And these are, because you're tapping your feet, you are, um, your blood is getting warmed up. And that's the reason why these are known as pulse raisers, right? So footwork in Kathak, using as pulse raisers. Then comes the mobilizers. You know, uh, we do a lot of hand movements in Kathak. So for example, my hands are here and I'm going to do a lot of wrist movements. So we are going to mobilize all the joints which is related to wrist and the hands. So my left hand is still here and my right hand goes here, comes back. I'm also working on the fingers, right? And here we have from the left side, some of the ripple effect, some twists. And that's how we do our mobilizers for the hands. Now comes the torso, where we need to even mobilize our torso. So I'm just going to do a long circles with my hands, like this, coming back, and going back like this. You can also do a little bit of speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we are focusing completely on our body and our hands, our arms, right? Now comes the part on the body. So we have stretchers. After mobilizers, we do the stretchers. And stretchers are really important because we know that we sit, we stand up, we do so many things when we go ahead and perform this kathaka. So maybe you can keep your left leg or right leg like this the, I'm really going a little back so that you can see me properly okay your hands pull them in get them back you can again bring them here pull them in similarly on the right you can bend your right leg stretch your left one Pull your hand, go back. So if you see, these are more like down steps, but looks like we are stretching up, right? And we can also do like this, we can take a spin, and we can do all of those stretches. That's how we warm up for the Kathak dance.